What's up? Do you like slow RC boats or fast RC boats? If fast, this is the video for you. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia is with Grandma and Grandpa. Popeye is back home because today we're at Beach Fork Lake State Park to test this brushless RC boat. We actually have seen some things like this before, but not this, look at this black and green looks really good. And the brushless power, we should have some serious speed on this thing. If I can figure out the back hatch. You just put it on. <laughs> it's watertight. Look at this, brushless power. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's a water-cooled system with a 20 amp brushless ESC. Our battery is strapped in here with Velcro, but I have it loose in there right now. It comes with this. It comes with the transmitter too. Very nice looking transmitter with the trigger style, which I think is really good if you're gonna drive something really fast. And if you are interested, we'll have this linked in the description box below. But before you click anything, before you buy this boat, I wanna show it to you. I wanna show you how fast this is compared to the some of the other boats that we've seen on the channel, which you should absolutely check out after this video. We'll have one of our favorites in one of those in-screen videos. So after you watch this and see how fast it is, see what about a $60 boat will get you versus this one. Here we go. This boat got power without having to be set in the water. It is ready to go, Nate. He's trimming it up a little bit before he does the speed test. I like the truck style transmitters on boats the best. Look at all those ducks out there. Haven't been able to feed one yet. They keep running away and I don't know why. All right, he's going nice and slow, taxiing out. I'm trying to trim it up. He says he's trimming it up. Well, I've spent a few minutes trying to trim this up. You guys see when it's sitting in the water there, just dead in the water. Uh, it's leaning to the left some, might be hard to see on the camera, but I really don't have much right. That's full right and this is full left. So I'm gonna view this as a racing boat. Racing boats are designed really to only steer very heavily one way over the other. I think the CG of this is off a of hair where the battery placement is and that's the main reason for that. Cause after I trim it up, it got a little better but I'm just gonna pretend like I really only have left hand turning. So, full throttle, here we go. No, that's hard, because <clears throat> I have to hold the right rudder over quite a bit just to keep it straight. If I let go of that, it wants to turn a lot on its own. So, very odd setup on that. There you go, brushless RC boat. I just have to be very careful with how I drive this today. I need a little bit of work on the balance of it. But honestly, this isn't much faster than the $40, ones we've been testing, $40, right? $50 boats. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's faster, but it's not a huge difference. Right. I don't think you guys would be able to see that much of a difference. Probably can't at home watching this video. Hearing it, though, let's let them listen to this as it passes by because it does sound cool. Oh, yeah. This, like, is gliding on top of the water. I do, I do think it sounds a little cooler, that brushless power. Oh yeah, for sure. I've got some tight turning here. Look, you got a Actual tornado. <laughs> yeah, whirlpool. that's the word. A tornado, now, close enough. the funny enough. thing, guys. I'm hand-free on the steering. So that's <laughs> how bad it is, just to let you know. When I'm driving straight, um, It's because the big mm. ESC and the battery are both on the left side. That is not a good design. Not really, no. It needs to be fixed. <laughs> it is. The reason they did that is so that you've got that CG to do a self-riding feature. You want it to be heavier on one side than the other, but I think it's just a little it's bit too, too heavy, heavy on yeah. one side versus the other. Still, it's very drivable. You just have to, you have to overcompensate on the steering just to hold it straight. Yeah, fast, but I think, I think a little underwhelming because I, I would have imagined a bit more power going on here. Uh, what I would what I would recommend anyone do is buy one that we did yesterday, the bright red. But what we'll do is we'll cart it here, and we'll have it ready for you at the end of our video. If you missed it, you need to get that boat because it's for the money. I think, like bang for your buck, you're getting more for your money with that red boat versus this one. If you're okay with probably having to do some CG work, look at that. I can. Looks so cool. Oh. 
Uh, if you're okay with doing a little, bit of, a little bit of work and tinkering on this thing, yeah, sure, you could pick it up, but... And maybe you're just after that brushless ESC and motor, because it is water-cooled and very nice. The water is shooting out of the side very well right there. But I think if you're new to boats, you would be better off getting that red one that we just featured. It's a really good boat. And it came with two batteries, too. And it had a low battery alarm. Uh, when we got our low battery, the transmitter started beeping, saying, hey, time to bring your boat in before you run out of battery. I know I'm talking about the red boat more than this boat, but that's because I liked it more. Well, okay. The general consensus is that's a straight line for this <laughs> boat. I can't really highly recommend this. I tried trimming it up as much as I could. Uh, let's take it back in and let's not strap the battery in and throw it on the right side and see what happens. Don't do that. I know I got one. Don't right do on that. that. I know. <laughs> there's a the the brushless motor is an outrunner motor. Uh, that means there's metal parts swinging around really 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 fast in there. And if we just threw the battery in loose, the wire would be loose and the wire would get chewed up against that motor. Uh, and so that would be bad, 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 bad in so many ways. So we're not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I, I just think it's time to wrap this video up. I don't know if this boat will even have a low battery alarm. Well, if you guys are not subscribed to our channel, you absolutely should be because the next boat that we do has me more excited than any RC boat we've had on the channel. Even that FPV one. I can't wait to show you what we're up to and what we have to share with you. It just looks so cool. Comes in at a good price. I think it's going to be a mix of the best of all the worlds of RC boat, budget versus speed versus just awesome portability and everything. I think you guys are gonna love it. So we'll pass on this one. Check out the red boat. We'll have linked at the end of this video and be sure to subscribe for the next RC boat we have on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Donuts. <laughs>